Niagara Falls, a popular destination for so many, is today the site of an unfolding tragedy. A man teeters on the edge of death. Wedged between a rock and a 170 foot drop into the roiling waters below. Firefighter Gary Corella has made four rescues from this treacherous river, but he's never seen anyone this close to the falls. I was quite shocked at first that somebody could be standing there and not be swept over. To save him, Gary and his fellow rescuers must put their own lives in jeopardy. Knee deep in the icy torrent, the man struggles to keep his balance. Gary and another firefighter climbed down into the water. We really felt uh, the clock ticking. At any time, he could be swept over, and all your efforts would have been for naught. They try tossing a life ring, but it falls short. The situation appears hopeless. Uh, we were close enough where we could see the fear in his eyes. A rescue chopper is called in to try and reach him with the life ring. It was a one in a million shot. If it went a little bit too far past him, he may have been swept uh, over the falls. Then, disaster. The downdraft of the rotor blades throws the man off his feet. He desperately clings to the rock, his legs dangling over the edge. My heart sunk because I thought he was going to be washed over the falls. Knowing they have only seconds left before all is lost, a crewman on the chopper makes one last ditch toss. The man dives, grabbing hold of the ring. But then, there's more trouble. The victim was swept underneath the ice. He had the ring just around his one arm and his elbow. Gary and his partner scale along the frozen shoreline, braving the current that tugs them toward a watery grave. In all his years as a firefighter, Gary's never faced a rescue this perilous. Uh, one wrong move by the victim, and he may have been lost. One wrong move by us, and we may have lost one of us. Finally, they reach him. Just in time. Sergeant Moriarty was able to grab his one hand. He had him by four fingers. That was all that was between this gentleman and going over the falls. Gary harnesses himself to the man. And together, they're hoisted to safety. Despite severe hypothermia, he makes a full recovery. Thanks to the man who refused to give up when his life was so close to slipping away. It really was a great feeling, and everybody really worked well together, and at the end, it was something really to celebrate.